All right, I guess I'm gonna jump into the homebrew Wednesday uh, video field. Got turned on to this uh, maybe a year ago um, from a few different videos. I think a guy uh, named SJ Poor started this up and seen some of his videos and they're really good, as well as uh, other homebrew Wednesday videos I've seen from different people. But I um, guess I'm just gonna go over a few things. That I'm doing right now as far as homebrew. Uh, right now I'm drawing a red ale. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of amberish, some uh, red tinge to it, red hue. Uh, I made that from Brewer Brewer's Best Kit. Turns out pretty good. Um, had 6.6 .6 pounds of light liquid malt extract. Um, as far as grains went, had 8 ounces of caramel 120L and 1 ounce of chocolate. Hops were an um, ounce of UK Golding and an ounce of UK Fuggle and yeast, some type of good yeast I guess, but I, I don't have it written down right in front of me. It's here somewhere, but I mean this is really good beer just as good as anything I would normally see out at a bar restaurant stuff um, yeah, if you ever get a chance to make your own homebrew I would highly su uh, recommend doing that uh, suggest visiting local homebrew supply store if you have one in your area um, you know, also the other day I uh, guess last week started up that pumpkin spice porter that's been going on just about a week today I think um, that's gonna take another good week or two before I keg it um, keg right now is full with the red ale but two weeks should be plenty of time to go ahead and knock that off and get it all cleaned out and everything I'll probably bottle a couple I usually try and bottle a couple just to help gauge how it's going and in case any family or whatever friends come over and want a taste I could just pop open a bottle um, have some meat upstairs I think uh, cherry can't think of the technical term of, for cherry mead right now but uh, it should turn out pretty good it's six made six gallons of it I was aiming for a little bit uh, drier mead this time. Just use less honey per gallon. I think it was uh, maybe a pound and a half of honey per gallon. Usually I go a little bit sweeter, do three pounds, but this time it's try to spread it out a little bit more, get more yield. Um, I think that's about it for right now. I don't really have too much go else going on. The pumpkin beer is going to be ready, I guess, a couple of weeks before Thanksgiving, or at least a week before. So I planned it. Usually, a family come over, or I'll go somewhere and take some beer over. Yeah, but uh, I don't know if I could get these videos out every week. I don't have a whole lot going on at the moment as far as home brewing, but I'm going to try and make them as. So I get stuff going along. Alright, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.